Dear City Meals on Wheels, I'm a 98-year-old chick living alone in Chelsea. This year, I entered my 90th year. I never thought I would live this long. I'll be 93 years old this December, and I'm starting to feel old. I've never been anywhere. All my life, I've lived in good old Brooklyn. We bought a family house in 1934, paid $3,000, and spent about $2,000 on repairs. In those days, you did all the repairs yourself. I used to do a lot of cooking when I was young. When it was Mother's Day, I made a great dinner with meatballs and ziti and salad. It wore me out, but it was worth it. It's tough to get older. I was fine until I reached 90 years. I am a lady all alone. My brother passed away from cancer last month. He was the joy of my life. I have two grown daughters, Patricia, who recently became a widow. She's 70 years old, and Kathy, who is 67 now. She's also a widow. I don't have that many close friends, although everyone is friendly. My best friend, who is 98 years old, has finally gone to an assisted living place. And I cry a lot. We used to go everywhere together. I'm lonely. I have three grown children whom I hardly see several grandkids and three great grandkids. Everyone lives far away. My dear friends are in nursing homes. God doesn't want me yet. I have rheumatoid arthritis in both hands, so knitting is good exercise for me. And I enjoy making gifts for my friends. Keeps me mentally busy. I do have three friends. We used to go to Atlantic City all the time, but, uh, That's a no-no now. I don't go out, but I keep myself busy. I read, I sew, and watch game shows. So far this year has not been very good for us seniors. I haven't been out since Ash Wednesday. We definitely have cabin fever. I'm 92 years old, and I'm wearing my third pacemaker. My left ankle is swollen due to an infection. Looks like I have a fat pig sitting on my foot. I had a kidney removed on my right side. I am walking with two canes, and it's hard for me to walk and stand. So your meals are helping me right now. The salmon is delicious. I love the turkey. (laughs) I could eat it every day. Special thanks for the oatmeal cookies. I can barely afford food, let alone cookies. The juices have kept me from passing out many a day, especially since I was very sick this summer. I started getting my meals about one year ago. Since then, I've never even had a cold or anything. Must be the meals. Your meals eliminate the need for me to venture out during this crisis. Before I had these meals, I was always gripped with tension about what and how to get my food. Your deliveries have put a stop to my anxieties and my fears. Thank you so much for the Passover package. It really gave me a lift to have some of the holiday foods I used to share with family at our seders. It brought back treasured memories. When I see my package, I feel like a kid receiving her first toy. I am 91 years old and the welcome mat is at my door. The visit makes me feel safe and secure. Daniels, my guy. His heart is really in it. That angel on wheels brings my meals with a greeting and a smile. My buzzer rings only once a day. Just to see your driver bringing my meal. Words can't express how good it feels to know that someone is taking care of me. I've been a contributor to City Meals for many years, but never anticipated that my situation would change and I would become a grateful recipient. I thank you again for helping me out at a time when I needed you. I gather sometimes in your life you need help. And I did. You have brought much joy to this 96-year-old lady. So once again, I say thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Well, that's all the chit-chat for now. Enjoy the holidays. Keep safe and watch out for icy sidewalks.